Texans, Browns coming up on EA Sports as we get set for today's Week 6 matchup. You know, when you get a matchup at running back, like the one we have here today, you can just look down on the field from the booth, and you can see that breakaway speed and power with your own eyes, and there is a difference out there. Yeah, I think you know, I, I was always always heard from Bill Walsh. I read it in his book, Trust Your Eyes. So you're right. We look down the field today, and as this thing goes along, you can tell we have two stars of running back, and, man, just give them a little bit of hope, and they can make it happen. First down, offense readying for the snap. Let's go! Right hey, hey. Here's the handoff. Got the first, and he's got some space. Tackle made by Hayden. The defense cannot give up these long runs. You have to hustle to the ball. Get a lot of people around the ball carriers to make sure they don't take short gains and turn them into long ones. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Benjamin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Keeps it here. McLean's able to knock that pass away for the incompletion. Now here's a look at the Texans line up on offense today. Can this unit... Finally gel and figure out a way to start moving the football down the field. The Texans doing their part to spread breast cancer awareness this month in the NFL. Plenty of pink on their uniforms today and throughout the stadium. For a gain of about five. How you perform inside the red zone is often the difference in a game, and we'll get an early taste of that. No doubt about it, Jim. You got to be creative when you get in the red zone. We'll see what the offense calls. It'll be third down. Offense lines up here. Benjamin lined up in the slot. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. He has the grab. This team, one of the better tackling teams in the NFL, and they play the situation perfectly. They give up the short completion. They come up and make the tackle. Now we have a fourth down. And converts on the three. You always want to be rewarded for a nice drive in a football game, even when it's a field goal, because you've made a lot of good plays, you've executed them, you got yourself in position to get some points, and that field goal just reinforces everything. It'll be a touchback. <laughs> It's first down as they head to the line. The Texans' defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Takes it on the counter. Outside to the left. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. And that's the type of run I think this offense would take all game long, Phil. Oh, would they ever. They would love this. This is... This is showing your dominance here. The offensive line doing a good job, but also a solid job by the running back picking up some good yards. The Browns have been involved in some tight games these past two weeks. They won one last week, but now they trail in another close one, Phil. Jim, in these close games, which we seem to see almost every single week, and usually comes down to which team doesn't turn the football over. Now that we've got a moment, let's look at the Browns' offense. They don't scare anyone when it comes to their running attack. 
the Browns have driven inside the red zone, and last week they were so effective inside the 20. Second and six. Trying to work that left side. A takeaway. Got a little crease. The tackle is made. What a tough start for the quarterback. An early interception. Oh, the worst thing you can do as a quarterback, but I'm giving the defense here a lot of credit. They diagnosed the play. They took advantage of the quarterback, and they got the interception. First down here. To give space to work. He's got the touchdown. You don't see a lot of them anymore touchdown. because we have so many good tackling safeties in the NFL, but not this time. That long run goes for a touchdown. It was about the moves and the blocks down the field. Terrific job by the offense. The Browns are back deep, ready to return. And a touchback. First down here. Offense lines up here. Zebra, zebra, blue ten, blue ten. Zebra, zebra. Hey, wide twenty. Hey. First down at the twenty. He'll throw it over the middle. Nice tackle. Well, the Deacon Duck quarterbacks they love to see cover three because they know they're going to drop back and just throw the short passes underneath. Good job by the quarterback taking advantage of this defense. First down here after the completion. Loading up with extra defensive backs hey, in the dime. Hand off, middle. Bryant pushing, puts it into that play. Here's how the Texans defensive lineup. They are fourth in the NFL against the run. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. The Texans set at the line. Dime hey, package. Blue ten, ten. Setting up screen. On the money. Jackson, that time, in on that tackle. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator. A little screen pass to the halfback. He knew the defensive line was going to be charging hard. They were, and it picked up some nice yards. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. After the long game, let's see what they do here. 380. Let's see how they back up the big play here. We'll go ground up the middle. He's tackled right at the 24. Second down. The Browns all bunched up here as they get set at the line. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. From the gun. The defense gets a sack. Well, that was an aggressive play by the defense. That's risk-reward. The, the reward, of course, is sacking the quarterback like they did. Well, the risk is if you don't get there, you could give up a big play. Line up now on third down. They were very good at converting these situations a week ago. Wide receivers are bunched up. 380. 380. The Browns from the 32. 
He's got the catch. Lewis is the one who brings him to the ground. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. No doubt about it. Put three on the board. Never take it for granted. When you're trying to field goal, a lot of things can go wrong, but good execution at time by the offense and a good kick. Three points. Fields the football at the three. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. First down coming up. Nickel formation for the defense here. They'll run it here. Now cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. And now we'll take a look at the Browns defense. Last week, this group came up with three forced turnovers. After being stuffed at the line of scrimmage, it's now second down and ten. Nickel formation here for the defense. Takes it from the gun. No one in sight has the grab. Brought down at the 47-yard line. When quarterbacks see cover four, four defensive backs playing back against the deep passes, they know they're going to look for underneath or crossing routes. That time, a good throw by the quarterback to the receiver going across the field. First down following the long play. Set up screen. He's brought to a halt. Well, I guess the only good thing you can say about that play, the quarterback's happy, he gets a completion, but it only goes for a couple yards. This will be second down. The defense comes out in the nickel. Play fake. Comes away with the pick on that pass. I know we've all heard this phrase before. That's why they're playing defense, because they can't catch. Hey, the coaches don't care about that. When you get an opportunity, they want you to make the catch. Third and seven following the incompletion. The defense comes out in the dime. From the gun. Makes the catch in open space. Hopkins taken down. When you play zone in the NFL, what you're trying to do is make the quarterback hold the football just for a half a second longer, and you hope the pass rush can get there. They don't that time. That's why he got the completion. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. They bring him to the turf. The Texans, they believe in their offense. They know once they get inside the red zone, they can run or throw. That time they run the football, and it picks up some good solid yards. Great job by the offensive line. That leads us to second down. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Takes another handoff. And Hayden's there to take him down. Good job that time by the offense. They pick up a first down inside the 20-yard line. Now we'll see if they can punch it in and get seven points. First down here after the run. Defense with plenty of bodies in the box here on this play. He'll keep it on the play fake. Eyeing that left side. Makes the catch. Touchdown. Touchdown. If you go to an NFL practice, 
They spend about 40% of their time practicing plays going in to score, and that's why they made it look so easy here. Nice throw by the quarterback on first and goal. He made it. The Browns are back deep, ready to return. No return as this goes for a touchback. <laughs> they face first down. Throws the pass. Breaks free. And at the 49, he'll be brought down. Menzel, selling just played big time. The defense, they go for the run fake, and that's why he has time to throw the football and makes the completion. Good job. First down here after the completion. The quarter is about to end. One more play first. And the tackle is made at the 48-yard line. The Browns still driving as the second quarter gets underway. That's second down coming up. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. A near interception that time by Boykin. Well, Jim, I threw a lot of passes like that in my career where it should have been intercepted, and the guy dropped it, and you just go, yes, I got a break. Now can you capitalize on that break? Third and seven. And it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. And he'll step out. They come to the line, and it's first down. The Texans with an empty backfield look here. Screen on the money. And it's Rolando McClain who makes the stop. There wasn't much there that time, so good job by the quarterback just throwing the ball and then uh, getting the catch and just getting a couple yards. The pass play picks up only two. So now it's second down and eight following the completion. Here's the handoff and they'll run it. That picks up about three. This is one good tackling defense. They stay in good position at all times. And we saw it that time when they stopped the play for a short game. It's third down coming up. The Texans come to the line of scrimmage and empty out the backfield. Everyone split out wide. Looking across the middle, catch made. Tackle made by Hayden. The 
offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Gets the handle here. They'll meet him this time behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. After running it, it's second down. Looking to the right side and throwing. Had it for a moment, but then lost it on the hit. That's why you like defenders who are good, punishing tacklers. Make those receivers worry about coming over the middle. They'll be careful the rest of this game because of that big hit. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. Split backfield here. the gun has to be ball is out and the defense has it in on the stop that's what you call a take away the defense just makes such a hard hit that they take the football away from the offense and they recover the fumble Browns bring their offense back onto the field for their next drive. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. First down at the 21. They'll go Brown. He's going to the left and gains about one. Play this defense. They are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front. And that time they stopped that run just for a short gain. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. From the shotgun. Throwing now to his left. Gains five. The Browns that time, they can't get big yards, but the throw and catch picks up a few, and his third down's much easier with this situation. Third and four coming up following that completion. Out of the shotgun formation. Away from the ball, there's a flag down on the field. Good piece of tackling. Roughing the passer call gives the offense 15 yards and a new set of downs. Yeah, and it was a, it was a terrible roughing the passer that time. He absolutely took two steps before he hit the quarterback. You can see when he lets the ball go. When you see him let it go, poor. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. Here's the first snap after the big play. Manzel's back in shotgun formation. Looking long. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. There's a nice touchdown there, and you're chipping away at that lead. Try to get it into the minds of the opponent. Will they get tight? Did you hear the word choke? Yeah, I think they could be choking over there on the other side. Look out. The point after try is in the books. The Texans ready to take that football down the field. And a touchback here. We'll bring the ball out to the 20. First down on the way. They bring in the extra tight end. Hand off made up the middle. And that gains a few. Got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They were all over the run that time, and they only give up a short game.
second down coming up. The Browns lined up in the nickel. To the ground. That tackle was made at the 27-yard line. Third down on the way. Nickel formation for the defense here. He's going to get another carry. And he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. Even though the defense knows you're probably going to run the football, it's third and short. If you run hard, all you need is a little bit of a lane. We see it there, able to get the first down. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Get ready. Get ready. Here's the handoff. Brought down at the 41-yard line. Good run that time. It results in a first down, and it moves those chains on the sideline. Keep those chains moving. Tire that defense out. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Offense lines up here. Let's go. Another handoff right back to him. And that game's won. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stopped him for a short game. Second down here. Out of the gun. He'll throw it over the middle. Reaches out and snatches it. That play is good for a Texas first down. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Johnson's lined up now as a slot receiver. The give, middle, all is out. He stacked up at that point. Nice job by the offense at time, even though they fumbled the football quick enough and smart enough to get on it right away. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Let's go. The Texans take it from the 43. Hand off. They knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. Well, that time, that's just a bad decision by the running back. He makes the wrong read. The offensive line blocked it right. But when you make the wrong read, you're going to get tackled. That time, he gets tackled for a loss. Still five yards short of a first after the run. Third down coming up. They come out in the dime package. Out of the shotgun. He's got the catch. That brings the play to an end. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, not only are they move it in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. First down here after the completion. Split backfield here. He'll take the snap from the gun. And incomplete. What a hit that time. Well, that was some defensive effort that time to knock the ball away and deny the reception. Yeah, beautiful job. A good defense called by the defensive coordinator. But the defender timed it perfectly. And that's what it's all about in the NFL. you got to time up these throws and catches and hits exactly. And the defender did it that time. Gets it out for the completion. Dragged to the ground. Looks like he's still about a yard short of the first. Nine yard game. Third and short, following the completion. The long drive continues. He'll go ground, and he's tackled down after picking up the first. Oh, we got us a nice drive going here, Jim. Another first down. They are just making one solid play after another and just marching down the field. First down here after the run. 
And now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. This will be the offense's 12th play of the drive. Play after play after Let's play go. here on this drive. First down at the 25. Not able to get away from Mingo that time. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. This long drive continues. They hand it off to him again. They'll mark him at the 22. Mingo's just not an outside rusher. We see it right here. What a job showing that strength. Stays in position, and the run's coming outside. He stops it for no gain. Third down. Mounting a serious drive. The Texans from the 22. Complete touchdown, Houston. And what a touchdown there for the offense. The quarterback just fires that football in there. Look at the defenders around the receiver, but the receiver big enough tough enough to go up in there and make that catch. Texans getting ready to kick it away. He'll take it from the one. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. The Browns will begin their drive from the 26 now. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. The Browns snap it up at the 26. As Cameron gains 14. The slant route made famous by the West Coast offense, something that really I thought came in the league when Bill Walsh started with the 49ers in 1979. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. First down and 10. Almost intercepted. Well, the defense has to be depressed after that play because when you get a chance to get off the field, get a turnover, and get the offense off the field, man, you got to take advantage of situations like that. Second down after the incompletion. The Texans go with the dime formation here on defense. Manziel's going to take it from the gun. Oh, and almost picked off that time. Lots of ways to attack cover two. There's no doubt about it. You can throw it underneath. You can pump fake the safeties, make one of them move, and still throw it deep down the field. Third down now. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Manziel's got it in the gun. My goodness, what a hit. And the ball falls incomplete. That was a big hit by the defender that time. The receiver drops the football. I'll tell you what, I guarantee you the next time he goes over the middle, he'll be looking for that defender. Steps out of bounds. Better be careful here. Terrible starting field position here for the offense. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Now first and ten. They'll run it here. It's wide open. Games 17. The Texans signal for a timeout. They have two remaining.
They're able to move the chains after that last run. Quarters formation here for the defense. They're setting up screen. Secures it with two hands. And there's only two yards to be found right there. We'll go no huddle. Second down and seven. Throws the pass. And that pass is swatted away incomplete. Boy, it must be hard just to knock the football down. That time he's in good position because you know the defender wanted to go for the interception, but he played it smart and knocked it down instead. This is third down. One more snap in halftime. We'll run it. Here's the handoff. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. That does it for the first half. Browns trailing this one. All right, Larry, thank you for that from the studios. And halftime, we're going to transition now. We're about to get the third quarter underway. The Browns are back deep, ready to return. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. The Browns come out for the next possession. Split backfield here. Wide, 20. And now here's the first snap of the second half. It was right there, but he didn't bring it in. Boy, it's tough when you're a quarterback oh, or a coach and you see a receiver drop a pass because we know it's hard to design plays to work. It's hard to get open in the NFL, but don't get down. Uh, you're not. The game is not perfect. Find a way to get the football back to that guy so he can make the catch and get going again. Nickel formation here for the defense. Second and ten. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Gets the handle here. Brought down at the 32. After being stuffed at the line of scrimmage, it's now second down and 10. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. And he hauls it in. And he's brought to the ground. That's a face mask call. And, of course, for now on, it's 15 yards no matter how you slice it. They don't even have to interpret it anymore. The severity of it, it's a big penalty. Yeah, it is a big penalty. Uh, you know, one thing, you know why we see a lot of face mask penalties in the NFL now? It's because players tackle too high. Get your arms around the waist. Go down low to make those tackles, and you wouldn't get those face mask penalties. First down, offense readying for the snap. 
This play set up by the long game. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Running away from the pressure. Throws to the right. Almost intercepted. The defense did everything right in that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback's eyes. But they dropped the pass. And now they'll try over again on second down. The defense comes out of the dime. They'll go ground. Tackle just three yards short of the first. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. Split backfield here. Manziel's going to take the snap from the shotgun. That's a third down conversion, a rare sight so far today. That was a nice job by the offense. It just puts them in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. The Browns line up, split backfield. First and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. It's intercepted! Shrugs off the first hit. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. It's first down as they head to the line. The defense comes out of the nickel. And he's taken down. That's a bad job by the offense that time. There's no doubt about it. The blitz by the defense. They do not do a good job of finding out where everybody's blitzing from. They let a guy come free, and that free blitzer, or as we call them, free runners, he gets the hit on the QB and takes him down. Second down coming up. Setting up screen. Makes the reception. And sheared in on the tackle. This is a tough situation for the offense. Third and long coming up. But it's a good situation also. You're leading the football game. So there's no reason to take a chance and turn this football over. Third down here. Offense trying to pick up the first. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Snap it out of the gun. And it's knocked down. Incomplete. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. got a chance to return this one. Shanks past the defender. He is tackled right at the 50. First down here. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. A tackle behind the line. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. It's now second down. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. The hit knocks the ball out 
incomplete. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit and knocks that football loose. Third down following the incompletion. Dropping back now into the shotgun. Can't find the target on the pass underneath. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. down here it's a two tight end formation and off out of the eye Mingo makes the stop well I know it's not going to make a highlight film but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards after being stopped at the line of scrimmage it's now second down and ten. Get ready. Come to the end. Out of the eye. Here's the handoff. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. That was a power running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. See what they do on this third down situation. The Texans are at the line of scrimmage with a pair of backs split behind the quarterback. From the shotgun, looking across the middle. This offense can't be stopped on third down no matter the distance. You got to be agile when you make these kind of catches, running these short drag routes across the field. That time we saw the agility of the receiver. Nice catch. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. The Texans come out with a split backfield. There is a flag out. That'll stop the play right there. Players showing no restraint coming in on the quarterback, and that late hit will cost his team 15. A lot of times these late hits are called, and I, I feel for the defensive player. Not in this case. That was an easy call, a blatant late hit. It's worthy of 15 yards. First down at the 38, keeps it here. Has his target, he's brought down. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down, you've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Nickel formation for the defense here. Handoff made. Able to make the tackle about two yards shy of the first. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Second down after... Going to the ground game, the first play. An extra tight end on the field for this one. To the ground, taking it up the middle, and that's a gain of nine. The offense is so close right here. They just need to show a little power and punch this in the end zone and get that touchdown. First down here after the run. Goal line defense on the field. Handoff out of the up, and he's in for the touchdown. I'd say this run by the offense is just, it's arrogance. They just say, you can't stop us, and they lined up and just shoved it down the defense's throat. Nice run there on first and goal for the touchdown.
Texan getting ready to kick it away. Touchback now as the ball comes out to the 20. First down coming up. Manziel has everybody split out Man. wide for this Blue snap. Ten. Zebra, zebra. Wants to go deep. And they can't connect. Just not a good decision by the quarterback. I mean, maybe on the sidelines they keep calling the wrong plays, but he's attacking the strength of this cover two defense. Don't do that. Throw where they're not. That's deep down the middle. The Browns come to the line with an empty backfield. Ready. Wide 20. Wide 20. Manziel standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Incomplete. Almost going in the other direction. Every quarterback in the NFL is going to have one or two passes a game. They can be picked off. Most of the time they're dropped. And this time, that was a bad drop by the defense. On the way, third down. They've come out in the dime package. Set up screen. Into the open. Cushing's there to take him down. It's third down, Jim. You expect the team to throw the football down the field past the chains to get the first down. No, they catch him off guard. They throw a screen pass. Nice execution, and they get the first down. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Here's the handoff, and he is tackled at the 44. If you want to run the football with success, you're going to have plays like this where they pick up very little yardage. Don't listen to the fans. Keep running it, and it'll work. The Texans' defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. Second and eight. Incomplete as he was looking short. They face third and eight after failing to connect on that last pass play. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Drop back, shotgun formation. Has Gordon. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. First down here after the completion. The Browns lined up. Everybody split out wide. We'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. Has his man. He is tackled at the 40-yard line. When you run that drag route across the field, it is not as easy as it looks. You're running fast. You have to catch the football right in stride, and you cannot see what's in front of you. The Browns are at the line of scrimmage with a spread formation. He'll throw it over the middle. Makes the catch. And the tackle is made at the 35-yard line. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just a, it, it gained a few yards. So that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. Now looking at third down. Quarters formation here for the defense. The Browns offense tries to continue some momentum, still possessing the football as the final quarter gets underway. It'll be third down. The final 
final quarter underway now with this snap. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. The Browns would love to run the football in all situations like this when you only need a little bit of yardage to get a first down. They show their power there. And I'll tell you what, this gives the coach a lot of confidence. Zebra! Zebra! Red! Dagger! Dagger! Split backfield here. Trying to beat the play clock. He'll get it again. Looking for some daylight up the middle. He's brought down at the 23-yard line. Coming up, second down. This has been a long drive so far. Gives it to him again. He's tackled beyond the markers. That's a first down. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back. They need to make a big play here. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Marching down the field and taking their time. They feed it to him one more time. And picks up maybe three or four. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. What a drive this has been. Manziel's back in shotgun formation. And that'll close the gap. Good job by the offensive coordinator. Calling those plays leads to a touchdown. They're just slowly chipping away at this lead. Now can the defense come out and help them out? Count it. The Texans ready to receive the kick. They'll take it at the 20. The Texans getting ready now to start their drive. Nickel formation here for the defense. First and ten. The give. They'll mark him at the 29. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. The defense comes out of the nickel. Second and short. Hand off. The tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. Well, the head coach loves to run the football, and that's why this running back is one of the top ten in the NFL in rushing attempts. And they keep giving it to him. He shows his toughness by picking up some yards. First down and ten. Makes the catch in the open field. Tackle's made. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football Number game. Five. Now they're in the Rose red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Takes it from the strong eye. Gains about three. They keep fighting for every inch, every yard, as they move closer and closer to the end zone. Now this offense, they fit perfectly with the head coach. He's a tough guy. He's a grinder. And this offense, what a job here right now. They are grinding this football, like you said, right down the field. Second and goal. Will run it. Touchdown, Texans. Well, you got a lead. Now you're able to go out there and drive down the field and score a touchdown. This changes how the other team is going to manage the game from here on out. It's good. 
Texans getting ready to kick it away. He'll take it from the one. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Browns are set for their next possession. Getting a look at the Wildcat here. The Browns take it from the 23. Nowhere to go as this will be a loss of three. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Manziel's going to take it from the gun. And incomplete. He was double covered that time. Number two. Number two. Goes Goes it's third down coming up. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Manziel's got it in the gun. Over to Cameron. The tackle is made at the 40-yard line. There has been good pass protection for the quarterbacks all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. The Texans come out in a dime package. The defense comes out of the dime. The play clock's running down. Finds his mark. They get to him just in time. One yard shy of the first down. And here we have second down. The Texans will come out in the dime. They'll go ground. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. That's an excellent job. Just getting enough yardage to get the first down, move those chains, and keep this offense going. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. The Texans with two extra defensive backs in the dime. Screen brings it in. every single play every once in a while you got thrown in the zone that's what they did this past play hey it was a good idea it just didn't work first down here after the completion first down following the long play Blue 10. Blue 10. They'll run it here. Can't find space, and this will be a loss of one on the play. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Second down now. Manziel's going to take the snap from the shotgun. So that pass is going out of bounds, incomplete. When you get third and goal, a lot of times it just comes down to who's willing to fight the hardest. We'll find out here in a second. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Third and goal from the five. Makes the reception. Gets about four yards that time. 
Well, defenses love it when they get you inside the five-yard line because it's hard to deceive them. So they can just go after the offense and be aggressive. The Browns face fourth down, but want to take a timeout before they snap the football. The offense back out on the field here for this fourth and short play. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. 380. 380. Manziel standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Touchdown! The head coach decides he wants to be the aggressor in this situation. On fourth and goal, he goes for it. Nice play call that time. Makes the PAT. The Texans ready to take that football down the field. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. The Texans bring their offense back onto the field for their next drive. Nickel formation for the defense here. First down at the 20. They run the counter play. Running room. And they bring it down at the 36-yard line. The Texans offensive line is just whooping some tail today, aren't they? What a job up front. That helps the running back get in space, get down there, and pick up a big game. First down here after the run. Will run it. Here's the handoff. They bring him down at the 41 yard line. Second down. Wide receivers are bunched up. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. My man has been a workhorse all season long. He loves to carry the football. The offense keeps giving it to him. Big reason why he's in the top ten in rushing attempts so far this year. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. And here's the toss. And this will end up as a two-yard loss. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Browns team official. Right now, all they will say is it's an upper body injury and that he will not be returning. Back to you. This will be second down. Two minutes, two minutes remaining in the game. leads us to second down. Offense lines up here. Takes it again. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. This offense relies on this running back as, as much as any offense in the NFL. That's the reason why he's in the top 10 of carries so far this season. Third down on the way. Benjamin's a receiver in the slot.
Third down and 10. Right back to him once more. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. The Browns decide to take a timeout here, leaving them with only one. down let's see what they come up with here they've come out in the dime package they'll go shotgun here pulls it in Jackson's gonna make the tackle the offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion timeout won't be used here they'll go to the hurry Manziel's back in shotgun formation and he's brought down by Brian Cushing the defense has a lead here in the fourth quarter, Jim, so they're willing to give up those short completions. Now it's up to the defense. Come up and make the tackle. Good job that time. Second down and seven. And the pass is intercepted. It's going the other way, and this game is all but over. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. They face first down. Gets the handle here. Heading right. And Hayden's in on the tackle. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Second and four following the run. All right, Phil, before we go, tell me about the atmosphere down in that winning locker room right now. Uh, it's always a wonderful feeling once you win the football game. Just think about it, Jim. It's, it's, it would be like you playing a round of golf, and you know it's just you against one other guy, and you practice all week long. The anticipation builds. You're so excited for the match, and once you get it done, man, it, 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 it's a wonderful time. What a memorable game this truly was. For Phil Simms, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game.